Hello, my name is Bill Hershinker. I'm the Director of Engineering at Standard Electric, and I'm welcome, welcoming you to Unboxing with Bill. And uh, today I have a special guest. His name's Doug Plants from AJB, AJB um, who's representing Thomas and Bess. Morning. How are you, Doug? Good, how are you? Awesome. So I'm Doug Plants. I'm the Wisconsin Sales Manager for AJB Sales. We're the local manufacturer's representative for ABB installation products, commonly known as Thomas and Betts. I heard you uh, you brought something here for us to unbox. Well, I'm not good at following directions. Uh huh. So I actually bought a tube, a cylinder, instead of a box. Oh, that's so much like you. <laughs> it is what it is. It is. Let's uh, let's see what you got for us today. So I brought some of our solutions to prevent liquid ingress into your electrical system, common known as liquid tight conduit. Really? So the first one... I'm excited. I can tell. <laughs> the first one we have is our JF BDG, which is a non-metallic conduit, over extruded with a coating, and our non-metallic fitting. As a system, it's rated IP69, which is critical in... And food grade. Not food grade, but it's it critical. Not. It is not food grade. It is food compliant material, but IP69 is commonly- For wash down, for wash, very food. high pressure type type stuff. Right, right. So that's our non-metallic solution. We also have- It's light. It's light, it's flexible. Mm -hmm. So if it's in an application where it's flexing, I would recommend that. We do also have- You want some help there? Get out of there? I got it out. Okay. So that's our metallic version. So that is actually an antimicrobial conduit. It'll kill 50% of the bacteria within 24 hours. As a system with our fittings. This, this is not food grade as well, or is this food grade? Food grade, really, it, there isn't such a thing as food grade. But it's not gonna, there's not gonna be bacteria growing in this thing because it's antimicrobial. Correct. Okay. I'm gonna move this to the side, get this out of here. So what's next for us? So again, as a system with our yep. liquid tight conduit and our liquid tight fitting, this is stainless 316 stainless steel, as a system rated IP69. Okay. There's, there isn't another manufacturer that, that meets that standard with their components. We also do have 45 and 90 degree fittings. This is not stainless steel. That is not. So, and this is all uh, die cast, or um, this is die cast? Correct. And then this is just a plated, Correct. galvanized plated type product? Yep. Looks like, okay. Along with that, going back to the GF BDG conduit, we do have a Easy metallic. for you to say. <laughs> so this is our JF BDG non-metallic liquid type conduit. It has an over extruded coating on here. So gunk, as Bill would say, isn't gonna gather on this jacket. It's made of FDA compliant material, so you can wash it down. And this is our single piece liquid tight conduit fitting made out of 316 stainless steel. As a system, it's rated IP69, which is a prevalent standard in the food and beverage industry. I like the looks of that one a lot better. Yeah, just- it's Probably a little bit more expensive too. It is, but it depends on your application. So if it's you're using highly corrosive chemicals, they may have a tendency to eat away at this type of a fitting where that 316 stainless steel is gonna resist the pitting, the corrosion that those harsh chemicals cause. Okay, very nice. The other thing I brought with me. What is this? Is this like gum? I wouldn't no, recommend it's, chewing it's on it. really hard. This is our super clean wall offset. It's made of nylon 66. It's infused with silver ions. Oh, that's what I tasted. That's probably the flavor you got. Oh. So silver in nature is natural, naturally bacteria resistant. Typically what people are using now are stainless steel wall offsets, which if you've ever worked with stainless steel, cutting stainless steel is pretty labor intensive and costly. With this being nylon, much easier to- So where does this go? So this is gonna go between the wall and the enclosure. Okay. So code in okay. Wisconsin, for washdown areas, the enclosure has, has to be, be standoff from the wall. A so minimum of quarter of an inch. Water can get behind there and clean the whatever gook is behind there. Yeah, so all the, the that gook doesn't gather and breed and build fungus and mold and things of that nature. Okay. 
So these can be stacked. These are one inch high. They can be stacked like that, depending on your application, how far. But again, with it being nylon, easy to cut, manipulate, change the size of it. Um, the other thing I brought with us is just our P-clip for mounting our conduit systems. That's just a standard uh, coated. This is a- uh, That's stainless a, steel. It is stainless? It okay. is. It is. Okay. So to mount these conduits along the wall, along the side yep. of a machine, we offer that. And then the last thing I In brought, our Crown Royal bag. Oh, is that? A, oh, I thought it was maybe a... That's the next unboxing video. <laughs> like, a, like a bourbon flask. Um, we refer, the, refer to this as a LB conduit body. Mm. So the big difference in this conduit body versus our previous version and even our competition is you can see that the part number and the UL and CSA are laser engraved, Very laser nice. etched. So again, another means of protecting your system from that bacterial growth. So gunk, as you would say, mm -hmm. gunk, gunk my specialty. doesn't gather in the label on the product. So this is uh, 316? That is 316 con conduit. That's uh, a lot of chromium in there, I can tell. A nickel, little, little nickel in there. It's nice and shiny. Right, but in those corrosive environments, you know, you, you want that type of protection. Yep. So the coating on a normal conduit body isn't falling off into your, your, peas, your pizza, your cheese, your beer, whatever mm -hmm. you're producing. So those are just a few of our solutions. Very nice, Doug. Thank you. I uh, I appreciate you coming and being our guest today. And uh, let's see what we can do on uh, getting some samples. You know, these uh, fine customers that are listening to us. Yeah, I can get samples. Yeah, if, if if you have any questions, want a sample of any of this, just please reach reach out to your standard account manager. Thanks for watching us, and uh, look forward to the next unboxing with Bill.